How are we doing everybody? Welcome back to Dagwood Z's Tonsorium. I'm Dagwood Z with The Shaving Cadre. Today we're going to be doing an inexpensive shave, something I haven't done on this channel yet, and uh, <clears throat> decided to throw together a few items that I paid a minimal amount for, um, but still perform very, very well. Um, so as far as the shaving soap goes, we're actually going to be using a shaving stick. Um, this is probably one of the most affordable soaps you can get on the market. Um, right along with Williams, um, but in my opinion, this is a much easier soap to use. Uh, Williams, a lot of people have a lot of good success with it. A lot of people, myself included, can't use it for my, I, I can't use it for the life of me. Um, however, Arco, um, while it does have its uh, people who absolutely can't stand it, um, a lot of it's due to the uh, chemical smell that it has. Um, my personal opinion of the scent, it is synthetic, it is, does have a chemical smell, but it's not unpleasant to me. Um, and it lathers up very, very easily. Um, so we'll be using Arco. Um, you can generally get it for anywhere between a dollar and two dollars for a stick, and that will last you quite a while. Um, for the brush, uh, I've done a lot of purging on my brushes, had a lot of turnover, um, you can get some synthetics for under ten dollars. Um, I'm going to go with an inexpensive badger brush. Um, so I grab my Sterling. Uh, these can be found at SterlingShaving.com uh, for right around thirty-five dollars. Um, but check them out at Sterling.com, SterlingSoap.com. Um, I almost went with the Razor Rock 400. Um, this is a less expensive brush, but I did want to use a, a badger today. Um, for the razor. We're going to be using a Schick injector. Uh, this is an E-type, so this is one of the first ones that were made. It was made in the 1940s, and um, it does have a, an injector blade, I believe, with one use on it, if that. It might be a brand new blade. Uh, it's been a very long time since I used it. They are very good shavers. The E-type is considered to be one of the more aggressive uh, types out there. Uh, you can get the Hydromagics. Uh, so there, there's a bunch of different types, um, but again, this is an E-type, Schick. And then we're gonna follow up with something you can find in your grocery store, and that is Aqua Velva Ice Blue. Um, <clears throat> again, fairly inexpensive, I think. All said and done, um, this shave, to get everything, cost me under $40. So, well, 45. So you can generally find these fairly inexpensive um, on the secondary market. So whether you go to the auction sites or whether you go and find it on a, a buy, sell, trade, uh, these can be found pretty inexpensive uh, to the tune of sometimes as low as $5 for a good usable uh, injector. I spent a little bit more on this one, uh, but it also came with the original case and the original box that the case and the razor came with. Um, so, yeah, that's what we're going to be doing today. Again, we're not going to have a lather cam today uh, since I am using a shave stick. Um, and the uh, I am also using a brush scuttle today. So, to keep the lather warm, we're actually going to do a, a warm lather shave today, which is unusual for me. Usually, I do a room temperature to cold water shave. Uh, but wanted to mix it up a little bit today. And Arco is such an easy lathering soap that I figured I'd just go with it. Um, so, I haven't used this shave stick yet. I did have Arco before. I had milled it down into a shave soap container so I could lather out of the container. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna break into this and uh, see how it goes. So we're only gonna unwrap half of it. There we go. Get that ready. Then we're going to take some water and we're going to wet our face first. While we're waiting on that, we'll get the brush soaking. Make sure your face is nice and wet uh, when using a shave stick. Now, Arco doesn't have a little plastic base that some of the others like. Uh, palm olive or whatnot has spike or uh, Latoya 
<clears throat> but get the shave stick wet, just start rubbing it in. All right, so I'm working on about seven days worth of growth. Um, shave sticks tend to work better if you have at least some amount of growth. Uh, it helps pull the soap off of the stick. You want to get a good residue. I'll probably have way too much. It's been a long time since I've used a shave stick. So when it dries out, just re-wet it. Keep rubbing. For the longest time, I couldn't stand using shave sticks because the first experience I had with it, I didn't understand that you had to keep wetting the shave stick. And it pulled and tugged and was just generally unpleasant in its entirety. But with experience comes understanding. I probably got way too much soap on here, but that's okay. Again, I don't mind the scent. Uh, strength of scent on this is probably around a two. So it's not horribly strong in either case. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, got my brush soaked, wrung out, a little shaken, put a little extra water in there, and we're just gonna start. You can see the lather just pop, start to pop right up. This is pretty dry right now. We are going to add some more water here. Oh yeah, we're very dry. There is absolutely zero sheen to this right now. So shave sticks are a great option if you're doing any kind of traveling. Uh, they keep soap isolated. You don't need, if you're a bowl latherer, you don't need to keep a bowl with you. They're compact, so they don't take up a lot of space. Yeah, it's starting to get there. We're still dry though. Aracle can take a decent amount of water. It's got a fairly wide water band. You know, I always say that sterling is the best value in artisan shaving soap, and that's for artisans. But if you want the best value for soap out there, it's really hard to beat Arco. If you can tolerate the scent. Some people just can't. It just, it's that, that big a turnoff that they just can't, can't deal with it. Oh, we're getting there. Okay, so what we're going to do, you can see how much lather I've got built up in the knot. I could probably build it a little more. Well, might as well. A little bit more water here. Just do some paint brush, brush strokes to incorporate the water. There we go. So, got quite a bit of lather on, on that, that brush. So enough, well enough for three passes. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna stick that in the brush scuttle and just let that heat up. And while we do that, we're gonna go ahead and do the hot towel. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in a second guys uh, for the shave. See you in a second.
All right, guys, let's get right into this. Oh, yeah, nice warm leather. Now, I did have some soap in my uh, mustache area that the brush just didn't pick up, which is fine. So if you guys do use a scuttle, whether it be a brush scuttle or a bowl scuttle, uh, make sure that the water is not too hot. It will break your soap down. Um, I'm, I'm seeing a little bit of soap degradation. Injector is doing a really nice job. Could leave the Hitler. No. All right guys, we're gonna go ahead and speed up through the next two passes and I'll be right back. guys we're done I uh, went ahead and chased it don't think I'll have any ill effects but it's been a while since I've uh, used the uh, Jecta so. definitely tell I chased but honestly it just feels like I'm putting alum on it's telling me that I just shaved really no feedback So, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to clean up, just dropped my Allen bars, luckily it didn't break. Um, I'm going to go ahead, clean up, and uh, we'll be right back guys, and uh, wrap up the uh, video. See you in a second. Alright guys, we're back. Uh, this is actually the second time I've shot this. Uh, didn't realize until a few hours later that uh, yeah, the audio didn't come out. So, um, <clears throat> had a really, really excellent shave. 
Um, and again, this just proves the point that you don't have to spend a lot of money uh, to get a phenomenal shave. Um, really, I mean, uh, I think the brush was the most expensive part. Like I said, I could have gone with a synthet synthetic uh, and would have saved $25 right there. Uh, this costs about $35. Uh, you can get synthetics for under 10. Um, this right here, the injector, uh, I think I spent 22 on this. Uh, but this is, you can get them less expensive than that and serviceable at that shave just fine. Um, again, this is an E-type, so this, a lot of people consider this to be the most aggressive of the injectors. Um, I don't find it to be overly aggressive. Maybe it's because, just for me, it's a little bit more intuitive to get the proper angle. Um, but, and then, Arco, uh, it's not going to be, it's not going to be a knock your socks off performance soap. Uh, but I'll tell you what, for one to two dollars for a stick, this thing, pound for pound, is probably one of the best soaps in the world. Uh, it's uh, just a, it, it's not gonna, it doesn't, it has good residual slickness, good slickness, good cushion. Um, it will get you a really good serviceable shave. Um, and actually, I got a better than serviceable shave. I, I went full BBS. So, um, and then we're gonna follow up with Aqua Velva Ice Blue. Again, this is something you can pick up in your big box store, um, local Walgreens, CVS, whatever, what, whatever uh, big box store pharmacy you have near you. Um, so the one thing I will say about the Aqua Velva, it has a pretty wide restrictor mouth. So in order to, to limit the flow, uh, I usually put my thumb over part of it and just dribble some out, that way uh, at least I'm controlling a little bit uh, what's coming out. And Aqua Velva is a really good, it's actually a really good aftershave. Um, is it as good as some of your artisan aftershaves? No, uh, but for how much you're paying for it versus how much you pay for them, um, it does the job really, really well. Uh, it does moisturize your skin really well. So, and that's really what you want in an after, your aftershave to do. Um, one benefit to me having an alibi and having to redo this uh, is going over some uh, an affordable fragrance. Um, so, <clears throat> a couple of fragrances I wanted to point out that, that are not on the expensive side of the house um, that you should be able to pick up at your, your local uh, department store. Um, one of them is if you want something that's more of a citrus tropical, um, look for a Tommy Bahama uh, fragrance. They t tend to be on the more tropical side of the house. Um, of course, you've got your classic uh, cool water. Now, this cool water uh, is a clone or an homage to Creed Green Irish Tweed. So. Uh, if you like that scent of Green Irish Tweed, but you want something that's a little bit uh, more affordable, uh, check out Cool Water by Davidoff. Um, another good one, this is this smells like Irish Spring, is Sung Home by uh, Alfred Sung. And again, this smells like Irish Spring. Um, but the one I wanted to highlight and the one I'll be using today is a classic. It's 4711. Uh, it's a German cologne, eau de cologne. Uh, it doesn't have a lot of uh, it, longevity. Sillage or sillage uh, is not the greatest, uh, but this is a 300 milliliter bottle, um, and you just splash it on like an aftershave, um, more or less. Uh, a little bit more strategic than than an aftershave, but. Um, you know, put it on your, behind your ears, maybe a little bit behind the neck, down here, and then uh, if you want to put some on your wrists and splash some on your clothes, you can do that too, so. But, so, yeah, we went over the injector, the Sterling brush. Uh, I wanted to show you guys my brush cutter real quick. It's made by Doug Smith Pottery and Etsy. Um, so, got this right here. So, you'll put hot water in here. Uh, to prep it, hot water inside the cup, let the let it heat up. Then you're going to dump the water in here out. Maybe replace the hot water in here. All right, make sure it's not too hot. It will burn the lather. I did suffer, if you didn't see, the lather thinned out during the shave. 
Um, that was that was just due to the heat and the scuttle. So I had a little too hot. Um, but and then when you're done with your brush, you put your brush in here. Keeps your brush nice and warm. Uh, very cool. Very uh, very useful. So if you enjoy a hot lather shave, so. Uh, that's all I got for today, guys. If you know, you know, again, you don't have to spend a ton of money um, to to enjoy a great shave, a long-lasting shave, and a shave that actually makes shaving enjoyable. Um, and just goes to show that you can actually save quite a bit of money uh, doing this, because as everybody knows, we got into this hobby to save money didn't really work anyway stop on by check out the shaving cadre www.theshavingcadre.com I'd love to see you there I know the, the cadre I'd love to have you great group of guys real friendly real outgoing and uh, just want to help you get the best shave you can get guys so until next time until next video uh, stay warm if you're in the northern hemisphere stay stay uh, or excuse me stay warm if you're in the southern hemisphere stay cool if you're in the northern hemisphere and uh, stay safe, and until next time guys, peace.